Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on the Westbridge Hills map in my test game for my 19th video about course play. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a fill and empty shovel course to automate the selling of silage that we made in the previous video at the BGA. If you're new to course play and you missed the first 18 videos, you might want to go back and start from the beginning. There's a link in the description to my course play tutorial playlist. So the first thing we're going to want to do is fire up our wheel loader here. Now this technique I'm going to show you will pretty much work with any of the in-game equipment that you can put a bucket on the front of. So wheel loader, telehandler, front loader it should all be about the same. The key is making sure you have enough reach to actually get it into those Flegel hoppers over there. Uh, the wheel loader just is really the best tool for this job. Uh, if you don't have the money yet in the game for the wheel loader, then you know start off with something smaller, but eventually you're going to want to move up to one of these. So to set up the course, we're going to bring up course play, and we'll go ahead and put it in fill and empty shovel mode. We're going to come, and we're going to line up with the line up with the silo. We kind of want to give ourselves a little bit of room. About there should be good. And we'll start course recording. And we drive forward until we get, and when you're recording this part, it doesn't really matter where your bucket is. I like to keep it up a little bit so I don't get it stuck on the silage pile because you will have to drive over the pile. So you want to come up to here to where your bucket just enters the silo and you're going to put a weight point. And then you're going to drive up over the silage. Actually did get a little bit there, but that's fine. And you want to come all the way to the end until you're just out of the silo. And then you're going to set another weight point. And then you're going to set reverse driving. And then you're just going to back up. Just keep backing up and you start to make a nice, easy turn like that. And then we set it into forward. And I'm going to need to lift my bucket up here so that I can actually get it into the, the loaders over there. And then we're going to come forward. I'm going to come to here where I can now see I'm far enough forward I can dump that in and I'm going to set another weight point I'll put it in reverse driving again and then I'm going to back up and do another nice easy turn to get back over here I'm going to set it into forward again Come around. And then we're going to stop right here in front of our start point. So that should be the course. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll call this Unload Silo 1. And now we've got one more thing we need to do. So we're going to come over here to the Shovel Positions tab. Now we need to set the shovel positions for this piece of equipment. So our loading position, this is the position that we want the bucket in in order to fill it with silage. So that's going to be right about there. So then we can set that position. And then transport. This is the position the bucket will be in when you're driving with it. So about right there. So it's not that one. Pre-unloading position. This is the position it needs to be in right before it dumps into those hoppers over there. 
So we're going to go with this position. And then unloading position. This is what it'll look like when it's actually dumping into the hoppers. So we'll set that position. Stop and go loading, we'll leave that deactivated. Uh, basically what that means is when it goes to fill with silage, it's going to just keep driving into the pile. Stop and go would mean as soon as it senses that there's some being put into the bucket, it'll stop driving, and then if it stops filling the bucket, it'll go forward a little bit more. Um, with, with stop and go deactivated, you may kind of drive up onto the pile a little bit, but with this wheel loader and with that size bucket, it will uh, fill up pretty quick, so um, we'll just leave this deactivated. That's fine. So now that we've set all that, we can give it a try here, right? So we're just going to back up. And we're going to say drive course. You see it automatically puts the bucket down. Gets a scoop of silage. Backs up. Drives forward and lifts the bucket up. Dumps the silage into the hoppers. Backs up again. drives forward and starts the course over again. Alright, and we'll hop out just so that you can see that this is actually doing it all on its own here. $10,000 per scoop. So as you can see, this is a great way to automate a task that otherwise is incredibly boring. Because it's going to take a lot of scoops to empty this out. And if you had all four of these full, that would really keep you busy. But it's pretty easy for this guy to do all the unloading. Now one thing you'll notice here if you're not familiar with silage, this counter is showing you how much silage is in these uh, containers over here that's being processed. And in the next scoop or two, uh, these will actually be full. And so what he'll do is he'll just sit here and just kind of There, so we got to 20,000. His bucket's not empty, so he's just going to sit there and slowly empty it as there's room for it. One thing you can do is, because he'll always drive at the same speed, you can speed up the game to 5x, which will... which will then cause the loader hoppers over there, the Flegels, to empty faster. And that way, there'll always be room in there by the time he gets back to fill them up. So I probably won't record the entire unloading of this silage uh, because it's pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, I will record a little bit of this and put it in fast forward.
All right, so I think I'm gonna call this video quits here. So this concludes the 19th video in my course play series. In the next video in this series, I'll cover using course play to fertilize a field with liquid manure using a refill course. If you're interested in trying out course play, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer, thanks for watching.